Something is changing in the crypto markets and it's all starting to get exciting. The price of Bitcoin is still hovering just below that $65,000 level and we expect it to decline because there is actually a CME gap right now at $64,355. But in today's video, I'm going to look at the price of Bitcoin. We're going to look at some of the things on chain that are suggesting that an altcoin summer is just around the corner. The traditional economy might not be perfect right now, but the crypto economy has come on leaps and bounds since the previous bull market. More regulation, more oversight, more rules, more adoption than ever before, and we are literally just at the start of this uptrend. So stay tuned in today's video. We've got a lot to discuss, especially on the altcoin side of it, at least 10 different altcoin charts we're gonna go through today. Make sure you slap like on this video. Make sure you've left a comment in the comment section below. If this video reaches 1,000 likes, I'm gonna give away $1,000 to the comment section to somebody that has left a comment is subscribed and has liked this video i did it on the main channel now i'm doing it on the second channel leave a like leave a comment and let's crack on let us go to so starting out today's video, the amount of Bitcoin available on exchanges, as you all know, is in continual decline. And if we look at the current price of Bitcoin over here at $64,878, you're able to see that Bitcoin isn't in continual decline. It is in a, a pretty strong bull market right now. And this bull market has been pretty consistent, nice, solid uptrend. And it's very nice to be seeing a test here of this lower level. That's really good to see because it shows that we've got strength, shows that we bounced. I mean, if we lost that level there, bull market over, we're going down. Point is, it's very unlikely at this stage that Bitcoin is ever going to trade below $60,000 in the next few years. It just doesn't seem so likely at this point in time. Save that for the next bear market. But for now, when it comes to the current price of Bitcoin, Bitcoin is looking more positive than it has done for a while. You can see that earlier today, the price of Bitcoin got slapped down from $65,000. It hit $64,000 in a very short period of time, but it has since rebounded. And now we're reaching that $65,000 level again. It's interesting to see how the old coins have been responding to all of this. If we go over to the current price chart on Ethereum, you can see here that Ethereum is currently trading at $3,149 per coin. Now, I think that's significantly undervalued. If you compare how Ethereum has like traded against Bitcoin in the past few days, you can see that Ethereum is starting to rally against Bitcoin. This is only the 15 minute chart. On the dates here, this is only Saturday the 20th of April. It's really not that long ago. It's only yesterday. We started to see Ethereum start trending upwards against the price of Bitcoin. And for me, I think we're starting to break this downtrend because on a macro level, we actually are starting to break the downtrend at this point in time. You can see that we've broken the downtrend, come up, retested, and in theory tomorrow, if we see any amount of uptrend on the price of Ethereum, we can be expecting a bullish, a very bullish period of time for Ethereum to start. Now, what does that mean? It means things like this AIT protocol that's been trending downwards and still currently sits at 39 cents. Stand trending downwards for an extended period of time here. We expect stuff like this to do very, very well. If we're also to be looking at Brett right now, Brett rallied up significantly the other day and now sits back up around seven cents, having bottomed out in the yesterday's video when I said it was a really good time to buy around five cents. That means the price of Brett is already up 40% in just a few days. However, that is not all. Like uh, this is where I say like the old coin market is, is only just getting started. And apologies with the learning how to use this gimbally thing. Um, but the altcoin market is literally just about to get started. Also, I hope you like the gimbally thing. Like I can do this with my arm and it's meant to stay more stable now because it gets pretty difficult holding a camera all the time. Anyway, point is, the market is looking more better than what it has done for a while. Old coins are looking better than what they have done for a while. There's a reason why the other day I bought a bunch of phantom coins. And if we look at the current value of phantom compared to where I purchased a bunch of it down at these levels here, phantom has now risen in terms of its Bitcoin value. And this is what you all need to be looking at. You need to be looking at the Bitcoin value of things. Its Bitcoin value is up around 10% since we purchased it. Now, the reason why we're looking at Bitcoin values and not the US dollar values is back in the day when I used to trade old coins like consistently every day. We traded old coins in Bitcoin and you got a lot better view on the way that the market was performing because you were trading your old coins with Bitcoin. 
By charting your old coins against USD, you're learning nothing about the market because you need to understand how healthy the old coin market is before you invest in the old coin market. Because if the old coin market is performing terribly against Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin because it'll probably on the whole outperform your old coin portfolio. But if old coins are starting to pick up against Bitcoin, well, you want to be involved in that because the last time here, the Phantom picked up against Bitcoin, the Satoshi value of it was down here around 700 to 800 sats. And then it rose up all the way to here to around 2000 sats. And when it rose up to around 2000 sats, that meant that those people, not only during this period of time had Bitcoin increased in price by about 20%, but the value of Phantom had increased by 250%, meaning that they had 250% plus the extra 20%, meaning they had around 300% gain. That's why we invest in altcoins, because of course you can make a lot of money investing in altcoins, but it's also why we chart things in Bitcoin values. And looking at the Bitcoin values right now, they're low, they're still very low, and it makes me more and more optimistic. So if we look at kind of the way that Phantom is performing against US dollars, the chart looks similar, but it is different. Because in this same period of time, Bitcoin has actually been performing okay. So this chart looks healthier than what it actually has been. So you might have been mistaken into holding if you were just trading this. When we're looking at Dogecoin right now, Dogecoin's in terms of its US dollar value to me is looking very, very strong. And if we were to draw a level of support here, you can see that basically Dogecoin held its levels of support and it should in theory continue to rally to the upside. Now there are a few other old, uh, meme coins that I like the look of right now. Of course, there's Brett, there's Doge and there's Myro. Myro, for those of you that don't know, is a dog. Just like Brett is some cat dog Pepe thing. Now, Myro, look, we're going sideways now. There we go. <laughs> uh, Myro is a dog and it's on Solana. And I think Myro is going to do particularly well. I'm going to make a video about all of these meme coins very soon to the channel. So make sure you've slapped a like on this video if you're interested in that, what's to come. So that'll show up in your algorithm. Point is, this market is literally just getting going. I can reel off hundreds of these coins and they're all looking very, very strong right now. So let's do two more. Go on, let's do two more. Maybe let's do six more, however many is up there. Next one being Link. Link, chain link against Bitcoin. Horrendous price performance. Retraced all of its bull market gains so far. It's literally lost all of its progress since June of 2023. We have not been this low in terms of chain link's price. You couldn't get a better time to be buying chain link. It's not like chain link is going to go more. It can't physically go much lower than this, surely. I mean, yes, of course it can go lower, but like, look at this. It looks terrible. So from my perspective, yes, Chainlink is a solid buy right now, especially in terms of its Bitcoin value. NXRA, which is just bouncing up from yesterday's levels, is currently sat at 17 cents. Corti, one very much to watch, lost a lot of value during the dip, losing 15 cents, dropping all the way down to 8 cents per coin, a 50% discount, and now trading around 12 cents per coin, up 50% from the bottom. But I still think there's a lot of scope to go in Corti, which is one of the reasons why you'll see here on Femex, I'm currently in a long position on Corti, and my long position is $3,800 in a profit. Of course, if you are interested in trading, check out Femex. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. And if you use that link, you get a nice deposit bonus. At the same time, you support the channel, and I really appreciate you using that link because Femex sponsor my race car, and I really like the Femex Exchange platform. So check them out. You'll find a link for it down below. Now, continuing on, we've got a couple more coins left to cover here. One is APRS, which... Again, should have some strong price action heading into next week. Tectum, which is looking like a potential breakout, having had a rally up and rejection earlier today. And Glimmer, which appears to have formed a little bit of a rounding off pattern here. I'd be hoping to make a buy somewhere around 31 cents again, and then hope for the pump back to the upside to around 40 cents. When I'm trading all of these things, the re what I do a lot of is I'll go 2x or 3x long on some of these things in order to increase my exposure with minimal risk. And that way I'm able to buy double the amount of things that I wanted to buy with, yeah, there's a slight increase in risk, but at the same time, I can afford if it starts going in the wrong direction to add more liquidity so the trades don't get liquidated. But you need some significant drop downs and you're always better off doing that during a period of kind of bearish slump, which we've had for the past three, four weeks now, it's just been a solid downtrend. So from my perspective, buying into the market right now seems like a very good idea and selling seems like a terrible one. And I think that's probably going to persist. I think the narratives are coming back. I think the bullishness, if you look on the internet right now, is very strong. People are feeling bullish. The market is looking healthier than before. And if you're interested in uh, more crypto videos, 
do slap a like on this one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those channel notifications, and if we get a thousand likes, I'll give away a thousand dollars to somebody that leaves a comment in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you all for watching, and check out Femex. Find a link for it in the video description. Goodbye.